Climate change is a real and serious threat. One of the proposed tools to address climate change is a carbon tax, in which one must pay a fee on each ton of carbon dioxide they emit. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of a carbon tax. Carbon taxes work. Carbon taxes create a financial incentive to avoid using carbon-polluting fuels and technologies and to invest in renewables. In British Columbia, Canada, a carbon tax helped reduce its carbon emissions by 13% in a five-year period from 2008 to 2013, while the rest of Canada only reduced their emissions by 3.7% over the same period. Carbon taxes are less intrusive and more market-oriented than other types of policies that do more to pick specific winners, like subsidizing specific types of renewable energy. Subsidies often go to the most well-known and well-established popular types of renewable energy. However, this can disadvantage other renewables or carbon-free energy sources that may be stronger in the long run. Carbon taxes are flexible. Carbon taxes can be adjusted over time so that they both reduce carbon emissions and don't prevent economic growth. They may also be either revenue neutral or be used to raise funds to invest in renewable energy, energy efficiency, or other carbon offsetting technologies. Carbon taxes that are limited to a small geopolitical group may simply cause polluting industries to move, rather than actually reducing their carbon emissions. This would negate at least some of the carbon emission reduction and could harm the local economy. This can be mitigated or eliminated by having nationwide or worldwide carbon taxes. Carbon taxes may not be effective if the pricing is too low and does not rise. In British Columbia, the carbon tax successfully lowered emissions at first, but since 2013, significant reductions have not been attributed to it because the carbon tax has not risen since 2012 and remains at the relatively low level of 30 Canadian dollars. Carbon taxes don't set a hard limit on the amount of carbon that can be emitted. Carbon taxes, especially when not paired with other policies such as renewable energy subsidies, may not be the most effective way to reduce carbon emissions. However, they are still far better than no climate change policies at all. Carbon taxes can miss greenhouse gas emissions from non-carbon sources. Various other gases, such as methane, are also greenhouse gases that cause global warming. However, carbon taxes do not tax these. Ultimately, the effectiveness of carbon taxes comes down to the details. Is the tax too low or too high? Does the tax lack built-in rises? Does it affect a large or a small geographic area? What are the politically feasible alternatives? A well-written carbon tax can make a significant dent in carbon emissions and climate change, but a poorly written policy will likely be ineffective. Let us know what you think about carbon taxes in the comments below.